The Sims franchise desperately needs more medieval content, and I'm gonna show you where to find it. If you head on over to the gallery, click on hashtag and type in FGG is autistic. She is. And this is where you're gonna find a plethora of medieval builds, and we're gonna be going through some of these today. First build we're gonna be looking at is the Grumpy Elf Tavern by Hubsis. The Grumpy Elf Tavern and Inn has always been a noteworthy location in the medieval town of Henford on Bagley. However, the recently opened exotic store next door seems to be kind of strange. Strange. The owner is nowhere to be found, and there are strange noises coming from the owner's apartment during the night. I recommend viewing build in the nighttime. Why, because you want me to disappear next? <coughs> Excuse me. Weird things keep happening at night, but you should only go at night for no reason. You know what? I trust it. Here we are at the Grumpy Elf Tavern and Inn. Oh my god, this is so unbelievably beautiful. I didn't place her in Henford on Bagley because I literally forgot in the two seconds that it told me to, but I don't think it actually matters because this is actually so gorgeous. So here is what I assume is going to be the bar area, and then this is like the weird store next door. I think I want to go through the bar first. There's this gorgeous well outside of the store. A little like back room over there. Adorable seating areas outside. I love the plants that are hanging off of the tables. I've never thought about that before. And that is Mrs. Crumplebottom's bag. Is this Gucci? I would recognize this anyway. On the back, we actually have like a little water mill. That is so creative. Oh, someone died. I'm sure it's fine though. So let us head inside the bar. This is the first room that greets you and this is already so cozy. This is so unbelievably cute. There's like a little lime wedge next to the cup. If my audience has no detail, it's because they're dead. I love the little like windows through the wall. I know they're not really windows because there's no glass there. So it's just like a giant hole, but you know what I mean. This place looks so cozy. It's really giving like the coziest tavern in town in like a D&D &D game. And everybody loves going here, but the dungeon master is absolutely gonna burn it to the ground. What's in there? Oh, this door just leads outside, so I will go back inside. We're gonna head up the stairs now. We have the little landing here. I assume these are the rooms. This is probably like a balcony, though. It is. Oh my god, this connects to like the other building as well. Interesting. Um, I assume these are the rooms for the inn. There's actually a couple of these. Oh my. Oh, this is a bathroom. Okay, I've been wrong twice in a row. What about this one? Okay, these are really simple, cute little rooms. A little messy, but it's fine. I pay 10 gold pieces to sleep in here and it's probably a very like nice little sleep to be honest. Oh my, hi. Very simple, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing crazy, but I assume that's because there is a very peculiar building next door. I'm gonna go in through this door that's between the two buildings. I'm not quite sure what it could be. Maybe it's like someone's little house or something. Oh, this is just like storage area for the tavern. Never mind. Now it's time to go through the little shop that's next door. They said it was like a weird little shop, but to be honest, it, okay. I mean, a little bit foreboding, but to be honest, it's actually actually really cozy and cute. I think they're just being really judgmental. There can't be anything here that would... Are you hiding something here? No, I'm just being suspicious because I my mind has been tainted by the rumors about this place. There can't be anything here that is questionable. Maybe a tadpole, but those have literally never hurt anybody. Going in here and this guy just has a little study. That's it. He's just holding little mushrooms and they're growing out of his head, which is a little bit um worrisome. Now, if I venture in from this side of the balcony, this is actually the only way I can go upstairs in this build, which is a little interesting, but I just see a really cute kitchen, so I don't know what the big deal is. This is so just comfortable and cute and so wholesome. I'm gonna go in through this door here first, and this is just a lovely little bathroom, nothing to worry about. We're gonna go in through this door now. Oh, I mean, it's just like a little ritual, just a little bit. It's just some really excited fellas, some a little more excited than others. He's just making a little friend. And ignoring that, we're just gonna go in here, which I assume is the bedroom, and it is, and it's a totally lovely little bedroom. A little messy, but who can blame them? Honestly, I don't even know what the whole fuss was about. The next build we're gonna be looking at is the Church of Vladdy Daddy by Photonix72. Welcome to the Church of Vladdy Daddy. Here we worship all things gloomy, nihilistic, and Vlad. The man himself comes down here sometimes to say hello when he's not too busy doing Vlad things. He can often be spotted lurking around in the crypt beneath the church, but that's just how Vlad is. Nothing weird is happening down in the crypt. No, no. Come by sometime and maybe you'll just get to meet him. Just don't go downstairs. It's very easy to get lost in there. I suddenly have a very strong urge to go downstairs. Not for any particular reason. It was just a random thought that occurred to me. You want to hear me stim with a pen? 
So we are at the Church of Vladdy Daddy. It seemed really appropriate to review this build at night. I tried to do like a mix of daytime and nighttime, but like, I mean, come on, who couldn't? It wouldn't be a church without a graveyard up front. And yeah, I don't know why these people are dead, but I think it's just like a graveyard. You know, if you worship Vladdy and you die, you just end up here. I'm sure he did not cause any of these deaths because that would be really bad. Just looking at the exterior real quick, this is a very beautifully done church. It is really gorgeous. Aptly decorated with gargoyles. Excellent roofing, if I do say so myself. And you've got these like gorgeous banisters here. I really like that. But we are not here for me. We are here to worship the man himself. And also, I never realized there's like a llama up there. <laughs> In we go. And this is the Church of Vladdy Daddy. Oh my god. This is really well done and it's very foreboding. Even just walking backwards from here, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love that the church windows are all covered with drapes because obviously like sunlight is bad. What are the tenets of joining? Not that I might be tempted because like I, I wouldn't. I mean, maybe I would. I'm just I'm just curious as to what I might need. At first I thought this was a laptop, but it turns out it's actually just like scripture. And obviously we have his favorite instrument, the organ. I'm sure half of you would want him to rearrange yours. I'm gonna go through this door here now before you think about what I just said. In we go and it's okay. Okay, yep, what did I expect? Like at this point, I'd rather you guys give me a danger sign. Like stop trying to play games with me. Literally plays the Sims. Anyway, I'm going upstairs now because I want to see what's on the second floor here. Up here, we have this gorgeous like little walkway here. Obviously we've seen the outside of this and we've seen the banisters, but I am so curious as to what's in here. Like this is just already so beautiful in itself. Like the green, oh, in we go. Okay, this might be like where he lives or maybe where the pastor lives because there's a kitchen here and Vlad does not need to eat. All of these bookshelves look safe to me. But there's no bed here. So I'm a, I'm a little bit suspicious, but we're gonna go up this ladder here. And there's just like some stuff here. Just some some fun little activities. Some Vladdy enrichment toys. I mean, it's a really cozy setup. I'm not gonna lie. But fine, we'll go through your silly little doors. I mean, they said not to go downstairs, but like I am gonna do that. Like I literally have no survival skills. Down we go and okay, we have an unused kitchen. So that tells me that there's probably a vampire in here. I mean, this just seems like his little house, to be honest. They did say this is where he stays and does Vlad things. I don't know what Vlad things entail, but probably catacombs. This is actually a really nice little idea. Like, I know it's supposed to be kind of spooky and scary, but if you have, like, a Sims generation going on, like, if you're doing, like, a legacy challenge or something, and it's getting a little bit too big, and you've your house is a little too big, you should just make catacombs under your house, honestly. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Like, this genuinely inspired me. What the Fuck. I will go through that door last. I have other things to see before I die. I'm gonna go in through this really big door now. Oh, dude, this is actually really sick. Can you stop with those doors? This is already behind a secret door. Why do you need secret doors behind your secret door? I'm fuming now. I'm actually upset. I'm gonna go in here and we just have a bathroom. Does he even need to pee? I don't think he does. I think he has issues contending with that. Through this door now. Oh, this takes us back into the catacombs. Okay, I'll just go through the... Oh my god. And we go. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, but dude, this is actually kind of a sweet setup. A little bit tragic if you ask me. Like, you're a vampire. You literally cannot see yourself, so why are you tempting yourself like this? I think he might have some psychological issues. No, but this is actually a really sick setup. I, I, would, I would sleep in here. This looks cozy. And then we go through this door here, which I assume leads back into the catacomb. Never mind. Never mind. He has a little torture dungeon, because of course he does. Some lovely tools, and then hygiene supplies. And he at least wants to make sure that the people he's torturing are comfy. Yeah, I mean, like, it checks out, but honestly, out of all the torture dungeons you guys have given me, this is by far the comfiest looking. Honestly, consider me religious. Last build we're gonna be looking at is Palace Carrier Medici by Kirkweda05. Palace Carrier Medici is the biggest building of the world, planned by Queen Hannah Carrier Medici. It has everything a castle needs. Hannah is the descendant of Demarcus and Eliana Carrier, two peasants who became famous for their beautiful paintings. Their child married with the princess Graziella and became king after all of the Graziella brothers died. After 250 years, Graziella still lives with the royal family in one tower, being the great-great-grandmother of the queen. If you thought in-laws were bad, imagine your great-great-great-grandmother, but she's also an in-law. I don't think I could deal with all of that. Okay, my game crashed. Oh, no, it didn't. What did you put in this build? Here we are at Palace Carrier Medici. This is actually insane. This was done on a 64 
by 64 lot and it almost crashed my computer and there is just so much here I don't even know where to begin. This is actually actually insane I will never build anything this amazing in my life and also I don't think my PC would allow me I don't even really know where to tackle this from there's a gorgeous hedge maze at the very beginning with fountains and places to sit This is actually gorgeous. We're just gonna go in through the front door and just get lost here We are at the grand entrance. This is quite grand and very foreboding. There's so many places to go I don't even really know where to go So I'm just gonna follow what my intuition tells me and say that this is my house now and oh my god This is so sprawling you have these like endless hallways everywhere. It's I don't know I feel like I'd get very very lost if I lived here here We have the middle area where the giant skylight is and this is actually so gorgeous It's so bright in here. Honestly, I don't even know where I am anymore. I have immediately gotten lost I mean this door looks important and it leads to another door which if I go in leads to oh my god Where am I? This is like the throne room. Okay, we have some double thrones here, which lead upstairs. Honestly, I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go. I am not gonna think about where I am or where I am going I am just going and I am now in an empty room. I feel like this is a maze I feel like this is a trap or not now. I'm outside. This is so confusing. She's gorgeous But oh my god, ah, yes my favorite medieval view I want to see where this door goes don't ask me where I am because I don't know this also leads outside Okay, I'm just finding every single way to leave this place even though I do not want to this is so pretty this is actually so gorgeous okay let's see where these doors go okay so more hallways oh i'm back at the front here oh my god dude i am getting so lost i don't even know where i am and this little area is kind of scaring me a little bit i don't know she lo it looks so dark in here gold plated bathroom i didn't even check how much this build costs i bet it costs like a ridiculous amount i imagine like no sim would be able to afford this at all oh my god where am i okay so these are like slightly less impressive bathrooms so this is giving like servants quarters maybe or maybe i'm just being really judgmental. I am being really judgmental. Okay. Sorry. I'm just so used to luxury. I don't know poor when I see it. I'd hate sleeping in here though. Like I do not like being woken up by the sunlight. I don't like being woken up at all. To be honest, I really love sleeping. We have another hallway that goes down here and we have some more bedrooms. Okay. If this is lagging, it is not my fault. Uh, the build is a mahusive. So, oh, I already, I already been here. I don't, <laughs> where am I going? I have no idea. We have this room here, which is another lovely bedroom. Unless I've already been in this bedroom before I am actually really struggling to remember because it's all starting to look the same or maybe I am going slightly insane Oh, wait, I think I found the basement area. Oh, this is a library I actually really really love this. This is my vibe like the dark woods and stuff. Oh, okay, what is that? I don't want to be that girl, but this did not need to be in here. You have so many doors Why are you making hidden ones? <sighs> Fine. Oh, okay. This leads into an ominous hallway. There's gonna be something really messed up in here or not We're going even more downstairs. What is it? Where, where am I? What is this? What is the point of this? This is like a giant origami bird. Okay I feel like I've stumbled upon a cult or something. How did you make this build so sprawling? Okay This is giving like weeping angel and I don't like it This looks like a level in a horror film and it's kind of stressing me out potions and things like that This seems very much like the dark arts that nobody should be practicing and we are also just oh i guess we're just kind of hiding our riches i guess i mean you can't get this rich by being honest right i love hoarding generational wealth where am i we have this big door here i don't know if i've been through this one i haven't okay is this a maze are you going to you're going to scare me you're going to scare me you did not need to do all this what is the point of it like i don't know where i'm going i don't even want to be down here i'm actually getting the shivers i'm getting the heebie-jeebies and i don't like it and I don't even think there's anything down here but I feel like something is chasing me at the same time <laughs> this is like spiking my anxiety so much okay goodbye <laughs> fucking liminal ass space where is the food here like you have made this place just to confuse me at this point oh I found an office though okay dude this would actually be like a really sick level for a horror game or something because like I feel like I'm unlocking secrets this house just gives me the creeps now I did just like I'm not vibing with it anymore like the outside is gorgeous but the inside feels so dangerous and I don't know if it's a me problem. What is happening to my game? Look at all those chickens. I've never been so happy to see the outside. I've never been so happy to see the outside. This build was gorgeous and horrifying in equal measure and now it is out of focus. Amazing job.